So this is a short video overview of setting up the open EVSC um, Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, so this is the main um, main overview page here, um, where we can do things like stop and start a charge, set time limits, set timers and everything. Um, first thing to check is that the time here is correct. If we click sync, it'll grab the latest time that we've got set up from the, um, from the browser and update the real time clock um, on the unit. That only needs to be done once. Um, we can enable advanced to see a few um, advanced displays, like how much energy has been total put into the vehicle since the unit has been installed, and the temperature sensors. Only only temperature one is um, uh, temperature one sensor is used in this this unit, and also check that all the the checks are enabled firmware versions. So we'll keep on simple for now. So most of the setup um, needs to take place um, in the services tab, but since we're going through them in, um, in order, let's quickly look into system. We can see it's connected to Wi-Fi network here in the address. And this is if we want to set a username and password to secure this um, HTTP page. And um, here's update to, updater to update the firmware on this Wi-Fi unit. So in the services tab, we have an option to um, enable energy monitoring and MQTT. So if we just dive back to the first page here, we see this is the charge mode. This is where we can set um, the ability to charge from far from the solar PV. We call it eco mode, solar PV divert, the ability for the unit to um, modulate the charge rate based on the output from a um, solar PV um, panel. So by default, this is configured to work with um, our Open Energy Monitor EMON Pi uh, solar PV PV monitor, and it connects to that via um, a protocol called MQTT. So let's enable this first. Um, so by default here, it's uh, pre-populated with the host name. This is the EMON Pi. Um, this is the host name of the EMON Pi uh, unit on your local network. So to test this works, um, some local networks don't um, allow host names. Other networks append a dot local address. It could be e1pi.local. So if you try typing in e1pi uh, forward slash into your browser, you should be able to connect to the unit um, or e1pi.local. So whatever works for you, put that into the host. If all of them works, you might need to fall back to actually putting the IP address um, of the e1pi unit. This will be shown on the LCD screen of the e1pi. And if possible, it's a good idea to reserve this IP address in your router so it does not um, does not change. So hostname and then password for the e1pi is pre, uh, pre-populated with the default e1pi password. This can be found in the service credential section of the um, Open Engine Monitor Service Guide if required. Um, base topic, this is the topic that the, the Open EVSC uses to post its data. Um, and the important one here is this topic here. Um, this is the, the grid, um, positive import and negative export topics. This is what um, tells the Open EVSC whether you're importing or exporting and how much power. Um, so this is assuming that you've connected uh, CT1 of the e1pi to the, your grid import export um, uh, feed in your house. And this should be positive when you're exporting, importing and negative when you're exporting power. Um, if, it, if you've got the opposite, just invert the CT clamp. Um, if you just want to... Um, if we remove that from here, you'll see the solar PV box becomes um, active. If you want to divert just the power coming from the solar panel, regardless of how much you are consuming yourself, then put the MQTT topic into that box instead. But we'll go for um, uh, diverting the excess solar PV. So if we click save, it says connected yes, just because I was using this, um, uh, pre-configured this earlier. We'll also configure Emon CMS for data login. Um, so again, I pre-configured these earlier, um, hence why the post count is quite high here. Um, I'm choosing to post to emoncms.org. You can also post to data.openevsc or even to your local um, emonpy or any other Emon CMS server. So here we enter in the, the Emon CMS server address, the um, node name, this is the name that OpenEVC appears in the, and the right API key of the Emon CMS account. 
this can be found in your Emon CMS uh, account um, page once you've logged into Emon CMS account. Um, this fingerprint is to allow the Open EVSC to post via HTTPS secure connection. Um, you will need to, uh, if you do want to post over HTTPS, if that's important, important to you, um, you'll need to uh, get this uh, fingerprint key from the security um, certificate information on the, the Emon CMS site. Be aware that the Emon CMS.org certificate changes every uh, every few months, so you will need to update that every few months. Um, if you're happy posting over HTTP, um, you can leave this empty and you won't need to um, ever update it. So I want to save that. Um, Ohm Connect, this is for uh, US users of uh, the Ohm Connect service only. Um, it's a grid um, service in California, but we won't go into that uh, that now. So now if we go back to the, the front status page of open EVSE we can see the charge mode is now is now active and we can see it's on configured to normal here this is showing the current household consumption it's positive since we're importing 100 watts and it would be negative if we we're exporting so if we just put on to eco it'll now show the charge rate uh, that it's calculating if we were actually charging which we're not uh, it's saying zero because it's uh, night time at the moment or this evening we're not producing any solar generation um, we're actually importing power hence why um, it's not going to uh, charge the car at all so if we if the car was connected um, right now and it, the system was active if we turn on eco it will wait until the morning until the solar PV is producing more than 1.2 kilowatts, six amps, which is the lowest uh, minimum rate any EV can charge at. And it'll then begin charging and adjust the rate accordingly. Okay, so now we'll go on to part two, um, how to configure um, Emon CMS to log the data from the OpenEVSC.